I'm Jackie Jing and I'm with Brenton Thwaites. He plays Robin, AKA Dick Grayson on Titans. If you haven't seen the first episode, go stream it right now on DC Universe because we are talking full spoilers for episode one. Absolutely loved it. And right off the Thank bat, you. you know, he pulls out the staff. He's like, F Batman. I mean, this is a defining moment. He's definitely setting the tone, right? He is. Yeah. He's, uh, yeah, you do see that in the first episode to give you know the audience and the fans an idea of what we're going to try and do in, in season one, which is create a show which is about Dick Grayson informing the team of the Titans, not really so much about his relationship with Batman. I'd really like to meet Batman. <laughs> no. This is a much darker Robin like than I've ever seen. Read the comics, watched a lot of shows. How do you think people are going to react to this? I think some people like it, some people not like it, you know, like uh, everything. I think it's cool because it's uh, it offers something that's not, not on television in this genre, you know. It's trying to be, you know, Nolan's Batman, although it's not the same world. I think it's trying to give the characters as much weight as they, they did in that world. One part of the first episode that I really liked was the meeting of Dick Grayson and Rachel. It was just like very eerie. How do you think Robin reacts to meeting her and just seeing her powers? I think the first thing that perks up in his ears when she says, you're the boy from the circus. And that's a secret, you know, something that has been suppressed for so many years. For her to say that, and know such a, a deep past about Dick Grayson, you see him trying to suppress, you know, these the, the grief and the pain from losing his parents. You kept wishing it was a dream, wishing you would wake up. How do you think his broken relationship with Batman, though, is going to affect his relationship with her, though? Because he's so guarded, you know? Well, there's a part of him that is going through the same things that Bruce must have gone through when he, you know, took on Dick Grayson. He doesn't know how to do it, you know? He, he realizes that it's a hard thing to do. It's not, it's, there's no book, there's no instructions, you know? It's kind of just guess and check. Having to do that father figure thing, he realizes that, you know, Bruce didn't have it so easy, you know, in the beginning. Please help me. Speaking of relationships, though, in the trailer from New York Comic Con, yes. we saw Starfire and Robin getting quite close. What can you tell us about the evolution of their relationship? Well, we come together basically as a team to try and help protect the kids, and um, they come together and form a relationship. Where did you say you were from again? I didn't. She doesn't know who she is, and you know, Robin doesn't really know who he wants to be, and they're kind of helping each other find that. Another part that I absolutely love from this episode is that Beast Boy steals a video game from a company. That's like how he uses his powers. It, it brought a little bit of levity to this like really heavy show. Um, is he gonna be the one who finally gets Dick to crack a smile or laugh? Because Dick has been like so stall and serious like the whole episode. I think he is one of the first to get Dick to smile. You know, Gar brings that funny, fun comic book tradition, you know, to the series. You have to be naked. Ah. <laughs> what can you tell us about episode two and the rest of the show? It's basically the start of the journey where we meet Hawk and Dove. They provide a place for us to stay that is safe away from these people, but also we see them fighting crime and flashbacks together and uh, the life of what it was back in the day when he was with Batman. And um, that's the journey we're taking in episode mm. two. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Well, we're looking forward to it. And thank you so much for joining us. And don't forget to check out Titan streaming on DC Universe right now. And as always, keep it locked into IGN.